Okay guys, I'm about to bring you into the most amazing yet shameful room of my house. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. We are about to go into the dungeon. I live in a self-induced madhouse. Taking myself seriously isn't an option. So I'm doing what any good mom would do, winging it. Okay, so I'm in the purging process of this moving thing. And this is probably the biggest task so far, but I'm a little embarrassed because I may be a slight hoarder. Maybe. It's very possible. I might be. So I was gonna show you my dungeon. Behind this door is my bomb shelter. A couple of years ago, I might have gotten it in my mind that I should prepare our family for doomsday. I decided to start buying things that we might need in case the world comes to an end. It might have been inspired by a few videos that I watched or something along those lines. Some of these things, in retrospect, may not have been needed, but I did what I felt was best. So, I'm gonna show you my doomsday bunker. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a go big or go home type of person, and this has been dwindling. So you can only imagine what it was like before. <laughs> so the hobby built these shelves here. These are called Shelf Reliance and they are care notation systems. And it's beautiful, it's wonderful. But I may have been a little excessive. Might have, just slightly, just a little bit. They say that you should have a, what's it, go bag or whatever, where you have everything you might need for like 72 hours. Well, we have a lot of people in our family. So that means times six, one point it was up to 10. So 72 hour bags, we have quite a few of them. But there's a couple of things I might have been a little uh, crazy about. <laughs> Now clearly, all of this will not fit into an RV, so gotta do something about that. So I thought, hey, let's have a little chitty chat, do a little vlogaroo update. You can take part in my purging. I'm just gonna unload all the shame that comes with this whole thing. to admit that I'm a little excessive. Don't tell my husband, but he may have been right. So let's just go through these bags. Okay, I don't know about you, but who doesn't need an EMT bag, right? If something happened, we might have a doctor available, but he might not have all the stuff. So Liz's thought process is to provide everything for the doctor that he might need. Syringes, blood pressure reader, IV administration, you're welcome. So at some point we'll have to find some saline more gauze. Dip this in cold water in case someone's having a heat stroke. Hide around there. Got some iodine. Antimicrobial wound treatment for dogs. But my mom said it works the same for people too, so I bought it. Okay, fish mocks for control of common bacterial infections in fish. In fish. Don't know why I have that one. Oh, bite or sting kit. Okay, for real though, I'm probably bringing this with me because what happens if one of my kids gets bit by a rattlesnake? This thing will come in handy. Thank you very much. And in case there wasn't a doctor around, Liz could perform the surgeries because she has the emergency war surgery book. Don't tell me how to take out an appendix or deliver a baby. Ammonia inhalants. Okay, listen, after my third baby, uh, I passed out. We needed a little breakaroo, snifferoo, and I smelled that crap for months. I still smell it sometimes in your nasal passages. After giving birth, you have those cold compresses. So if someone's giving birth and I've delivered their baby for them, they're gonna be grateful because I'll have the cold compresses so their kuka is not hot and burning and feeling really painful, you know? A manual resuscitator for your infant. So, I think it's a little squeeze bottle and an intubator. So if something happens, like a baby is born and they're not breathing clearly, Liz or whoever has some first aid experience can use this to Help that baby out. And if we need to perform surgery, obviously, we got all, all that we need here. Where is my scalpel set? I knew I bought one. Oh, yes, sutures! So if, you know, somebody needs to be sewn up, this is a suture kit, and uh, Liz could do that, or anybody else that might be able to. But at least the sutures are here for it to happen. Another blood pressure cuff. So, you know, we could really just have a team of doctors, because Liz brought everything that they needed. There you have it. If you are ever stuck somewhere with me, you are fully prepared in the way of medical treatment. Now, if for some reason we come under chemical attack, these 
our box of isolation gowns. You know what they use in the hospital? And there are 50 in here. So 50 of my closest friends can be saved. You're welcome. If we are in chemical warfare, not only can I use these to perform surgery, and then my masks, Look, guys, I am ready for surgery, okay? I am now Dr. Liz. I have everything that I need. Got scalpels, got the IV, got the intubators. I have everything I need. Oh, surgeons do this, it's really hot. Getting into the camping style stuff. Work gloves. When the world comes to an end, there's probably gonna be lots of crap blown everywhere, so you need the work gloves. Emergency radio. It has an AM, FM radio because we all know there's gonna be no internet. Goggles, so all that crap isn't getting in your eyes. Mask, you know, so you can breathe. So all of this is very important to have. You've got the duct tape so you can board up your windows, and I have some window stuff here somewhere. A wind up. Bigger, Didn't work anymore, it got a little aggressive. Well, that's not gonna save us anymore. Tissues, because you're probably gonna be crying. Emergency food rations, 2,400 calories. This brick is food. So that's important to have food that's in a brick. You just gnaw on it or maybe lick it, I'm not sure. Yes, here we go. Sure, kids need diapers and clothes and socks, you know, because it's important. Listen, I'm a stress eater, okay? And so when the world is coming to an end, nobody's gonna stop me from enjoying my life. And so, of course, mocha mousse pie, it's very important. For real, on the serious side, my husband, a few years ago, helped a woman out of a burning car. The American Red Cross awarded him a hero award that year, and this was in the swag bag. This one is, oh, there we go. Ready for my close up. Toiletries, condoms, because you don't want to get pregnant. And a disaster. Of course, KY. You're gonna have pleasure, but not pregnancy. I knew I had this somewhere. Yeah, Put that aside, because we'll take that with us. We'll hide it from the children, because I'm not having that crap going off all the time. This is a sack of drinking water. Should I taste it to see what it tastes like? It was expired a year ago. Yeah, very metallic. I mean, if I was dying of thirst, I probably would love this. So this entire bag, Jason probably would have been carrying because it is full of water. Scrambled eggs with ham and, and red and green peppers because breakfast, you need it, you know? Anybody need a light? <laughs> I got one. Well, duh, fishing because gotta get them fish. I was a genius at one point. Sunglasses, like if you're blazing down in the freaking heat all the time, walking and having like things reflect off in your face, you're gonna burn your eyeballs, so duh. Sunglasses, plus you'll be the coolest people around in the zombie apocalypse. Walking sticks, you can use them to beat people if they're trying to get your stuff or just walk. English Spanish dictionary, just in case. I should have a French one too from the Canadians. They come down and want to party. Moral of the story, Liz is prepared. And if something happens, you want to be with me. Liz may be a slight porter, but that's okay because everybody will be taken care of. Babies will be delivered safely. Appendixes will be removed safely. Life will be sustained if you are with Liz. Preparedness, it's important. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this crap because we are gonna be living in the wilderness. So we're already prepared. We're gonna have everything in our RV, right? Okay, for real, I gotta figure out what to do with all this crap because I'm trying to clean this out. Now it's time to go through and decide what we need and what we don't need. And I have some very big decisions that need to be made. Am I gonna be saving babies or saving space and weight in the RV? So that's what's next. But I just wanted to say hi, check in with you all, show you what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm a doomsdayer and uh, I'm proud of it. Now what to do with the rest of it. My feet are asleep. Ow, my feet are asleep. Ow, they're tickling. <laughs> they're tickling so bad. I am working on uploading the vlog from Yellowstone, so that should be the next thing that comes up. Thank you for your patience. I love you all. I'm so excited for this journey, and I'm so excited to take you all along with us, and I'm so excited to have time to make videos and, and, and have fun with everybody. But if you're looking for more updates, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, but more so Instagram. Instagram is updated way more frequently than anything else. So go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook and you can get some other updates besides these crazy vlogs. I really do need to get to work. So I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Love you. Bye. Don't miss any videos.
hit that subscribe button and be one of the first ones notified by hitting that bell button. Call it a day.